Hey everybody, today is World Backup Day, so we're going to raise awareness and give a very thorough webinar and presentation based on this topic. Be prepared, back up your files. I'm Stephanie, and please feel free to email us if you have any questions at usasales at qnap.com. Understanding what backup is. Backup is an action we often forget and ignore. As if something didn't really happen, we wouldn't even think about backing it up. Backup is crucial since files these days are digitalized, it is easy to acquire, and also easily lost. So what is backup? It is a second copy of all your important files, including your photos, videos, personal files, documents, and emails. We often hear the term RAID being a type of backup, but no, I'm going to explain why. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. It combines the storage capacity from multiple hard drives and creates a logical data storage along with data redundancy, which gives you a certain level of data protection. Secondly, you need to understand that RAID is not a backup, as it mainly guards against hardware failures such as your hard drives, but that is not really the only way you can lose your data. If you value your digital assets, you need to protect them from other risks such as viruses, theft, or accidents. So all in all, backup is saving one or more copies of a file and storing it somewhere other than where the original file is on a different device, including USB drives, or putting another NAS at your friend's house, and also remote places such as the cloud, which happens to be fire or disaster proof. Why do you want to back up your devices? Well, backup is an insurance, just in case anything does happen. So imagine your photos that you have taken at that very moment, place, or time were lost because your hard drive failed, or you lost your computer that was the only place you stored your, those photos. It will be very important for people who base their work um, on computers, like their, their, their design assets and such, you would want to back them up because that's the only copy you have. Some stats on this conclude that 30% of people have never backed up. So that's where services such as Apple iCloud comes in, which automatically helps you back up to the cloud, which is the Apple cloud. However, as photos and files are getting bigger and bigger, it is very easy to reach full capacity. So it will start asking you to pay for upgraded capacity and which will cost a lot in the long term. So that's why the QNAP comes in. And having a QNAP at home or work resolves this problem that we face. We can easily back up all the files from devices such as your personal laptops, work computers, smartphones, tablets, and more. Well, you would think that you can have just a USB drive for the backup, which is true because if you only need to back up your files and not having to access it at any time, then USB drives are fine also. Having a QNAP lets you remote access your files wherever you are and also back up all types of devices that run different platforms all in one place. And this is what we call centralizing your files. And other than the fact that 30% of people have never backed up, 29% of disasters are caused by accidents and phones are getting lost every minute. Some designs. This is the issue that and solution we'd like to go over today. How to back up with QNAP Turbo NAS. There are multiple ways of backing up to the NAS. So we're going to go over one by one. First one is NAS to NAS in real time backup and also scheduled backup. PC to NAS with NetBack Replicator, which is the QNAP software for backing up to the NAS. Mac to NAS via Time Machine Backup. NAS to Cloud Services, such as to Google Drive, Amazon Web Services, Dropbox, etc. So why do you want to back up with QNAP? QNAP has been providing quality network attached storages for more than 10 years and with many awards and praises from its users, we are known for our storages to be reliable, 
as all of our machines they run for a very long time and we it comes with two year warranty and also a great support team it has low tco as you don't have to pay for any te technicians or IT specialists to maintain this device. Also, there's no monthly fees for additional storage. We have gotten very good feedback from some of our power users having it run 24 seven through 65. And it's still up and running for almost eight years now. And he's a photographer and he loves our products. So um, also, it's the best performer amongst peers as our NAS are top tier in terms of speed and performance. You will get great productivity and efficiency out of this NAS to go with your digital workflow or your digital lifestyle. The first one we're going to go over today is NAS to NAS one. So to prevent anything from happening to the main NAS that you use, um, so let's say you have your main backups to NAS one at home, you will systematically back up your iMac via Time Machine onto the QNAP. Then this NAS would do a real-time backup or you can do a schedule backup to another NAS that is stored remotely, maybe at your parents' house or your friend's house. This would prevent your files from any types of disasters as the two QNAPs will have identical files stored on it. So take note that the first time backing up will take a longer time, but after that it will it will be much faster. The first screenshot you'll see right here is that it's our backup station UI and this is under our QTS OS and the backup station lets you choose different types of backups you would like to conduct. In this case NAS to NAS backup and because it is NAS to NAS we mean QNAP NAS to another QNAP. You can simply enter in your IP address of the remote QNAP along with your user credentials to get started. After it's verified and located, you can choose which folder you'd like to replicate and the destination folder. In this case, I chose the multimedia folder in my first QNAP NAS, the main NAS, and that it would like to replicate to the public folder on the NAS of the remote location. You can also do more advanced options, such as encrypting it with a customized port and also compressed files and also limiting bandwidth while replicating. So it will not take full bandwidth and slow down your internet. In the remote replication tab, it will have NAS NAS, RSync, and RTRR. RTRR is QNAP's replication protocol that lets you enable scheduled backups. In this case, if I select daily, it will replicate every day at a given time that you select and weekly, so you can select which day of the week that you would like to replicate. It's pretty straightforward. And if you have any questions, please email us. Next is the PC to NAS via NetBack Replicator. If you use a Windows PC, it's easy to back up to the NAS by using the QNAP's NetBack Replicator software. It is free for download in our download area of our website, and you can easily back up and restore all your PCs with this software. And unlike the Time Machine um, from the, on the Macs, you'll select each folder that you'd like to back up, and it's folder by folder backups. If you have any questions or if you want more information, please click on the download link and it will guide you to a tutorial. Next, we'll be talking about Mac to NAS via the Time Machine. It's crucial even for Mac users to back up their files onto a backup storage. However, because Time Machine limits you to use a full external hard drive for its backups, users would have to buy hard drives just solely for their backup tasks. With the QNAP, you can easily back up multiple time machines onto the NAS without having to purchase individual hard drives. And also you could have it set up so that it will back up whenever the Macs, Macs are on. Without having to remove or store the hard drives, it just makes it easier for users to back up multiple Macs to, um, to back their files into a safe and secure storage. 
There is also a manager just for Time Machines where you can see all the backups of your Macs and restore it in according to which backups you'd like to restore. It will be idealistic and um, realistic for all Mac users to have this in their workflow. Also, in a workplace full with Macs, so Mac um, workstations. So if something does happen to one of the Macs, if you do a schedule, a schedule time machine backup to the NAS, you can choose to restore that particular Mac's previous backup. So nothing is lost in terms of your files or anything that's stored on the, net, the Mac. How do you do it? It's very easy. Again, it's in the backup station that was demonstrated be before. Um, when you're in the backup station, you just simply click Time Machine and you can enable and start the backup immediately after you enter in your username or your password and how much capacity you are willing to give up just for the Time Machine backups. After enabling it, you can set up the Time Machine on your Mac under System Preferences, Time Machine, and then you select your disk, enter the name and the password, which was preset from the backup station, and then turn it on. After that, the backup will start in 90 seconds. Be sure to leave your Mac on for this process. The first time is always the longest, so you have to have it plugged in and the backup will start. Never a bad thing to have extra backups and you can back up all these data or your selected data from your QNAP NAS to the public cloud services. So after you do the backups that we just mentioned before, you can do another backup to the cloud. So just be sure and take precautions that nothing is lost. We have a more complete list of um, the whole supported, the supported software on our website if you like to learn more about it. This is another format backup, so it prevents data loss at a store somewhere else other than the other than where your NAS is. So if something does happen to the NAS or like fire or like water, you know, water damage, this would make sure that nothing is lost. So how do you do that? Under the QTS again, instead of the backup station, you go to the app center. And under the App Center, on the left-hand side, there's a backup sync um, category. And, after, and when you click on it, you will see all these apps listed. And after you decide which ones you want to use or you already have a plan with, you can just add to QTS. All you have to do is go to QTS OS again and then you click on it, the installed app would be appearing on your QTS homepage. And after you finished installing it, you can just go to the account, uh, just click in, into the app and it will set up your Google Cloud storage credentials and start backing up the files on the NAS to your Google Cloud account. This applies to all the cloud services QNAP now supports. So you can check out for more information in our website. So there is some more that we think is very important or could be useful in your um, backup solution and your to protect your digital assets. Um, Gmail Backup is a new app that we've developed and it lets you backup your Gmail account with all the emails onto the QNAP NAS. You can treat it as an archiving program as it stores all your old messages and allows you to access and read it whenever you want. There are also some popular backup alternatives such as Dropbox and Google Drive. As you can link your account to the QNAP and it can do syncs and backups. With the OneTouch backup, you can simply plug in your external hard drives or your camera into the front of the NAS and click the copy button. Then it will automatically backup everything stored on the external device onto the QNAP very fast. QSync is a built-in feature that lets you use the QNAP as your own personal Dropbox as it syncs all your files stored under the folder across all types of platforms and devices, similar to Dropbox and Google Drive. And the P2P backup with BitTorrent Sync is a very unique way of backing up files 
as it does not go through any cloud services and makes file transfers and syncs even more secure and efficient. You can learn more on all these features on our website. Another thing that I added in um, was the smartphone auto upload from Q file app, which is available for download from your Apple App Store, Google Play Store, or your Windows App Store. So you can access your files on from um, on your smartphone wherever you are and there's also a feature that's very useful to back up your photos on your uh, your smart devices such as your tablets um, it's called auto upload photos and it will sync all your photos on your phone to the NAS whenever you are in um, a Wi-Fi zone or either you can just put it on your bandwidth it, it all you could set it up in the QFile app so if something does happen to your phone, um, the photos that you haven't backed up would be automatically backed up to the NAS. So nothing will be lost, which is another great feature of the QFile app. You can learn more about all of our products with a better overview and the features at our Getting Started page in, in our main website. The link is right here, and you can just go directly from here to learn more. So we categorize all of our products in three segments. Be sure to look into it. So because all of these are different and it, the performance differs as well. So also, if you have any more questions, please email us at usasales at qnap.com. Thank you so much for listening in. Have a great day.